Emotional labor is the process of managing feelings and expressions to fulfill the emotional requirements of a job. More specifically, workers are expected to regulate their emotions during interactions with customers, co-workers and superiors. This includes analysis and decision-making in terms of the expression of emotion, whether actually felt or not, as well as its opposite, the suppression of emotions that are felt but not expressed. Roles that have been identified as requiring emotional labor include but not limited to those involved in public administration, flight attendant, daycare worker, nursing home worker, nurse, doctor, store clerk, call center worker, teacher, social worker, as well as most roles in a hotel, motel, tavern slash bar slash pub and restaurant, as well as jobs in the media, such as TV and radio. As particular economies move from a manufacturing to a service-based economy, many more workers in a variety of occupational fields are expected to manage their emotions according to employer demands when compared to 60 years ago. The sociologist Arlie Hochschild provides the first definition of emotional labor, which is a form of emotion regulation that creates a publicly visible facial and bodily display within the workplace. The related term emotion work, also called emotion management, refers to these same acts done in a private context, such as within the private sphere of one's home or interactions with family and friends. Hochschild identified three emotion regulation strategies, cognitive, bodily, and expressive. Within cognitive emotion work, one attempts to change images, ideas, or thoughts in hopes of changing the feelings associated with them. For example, one may associate a family picture with feeling happy and think about said picture whenever attempting to feel happy. Within bodily emotion work, one attempts to change physical symptoms in order to create a desired emotion. For example, one may attempt deep breathing in order to reduce anger. With an expressive emotion work, one attempts to change expressive gestures to change inner feelings. For example, one may attempt to smile when trying to feel happy. One becomes aware of emotion work most often when one's feelings do not fit the situation. For instance, when one does not feel sad at a funeral, one becomes acutely aware of the feelings appropriate for that situation. While emotion work happens within the private sphere, emotional labor is emotion management within the workplace according to employer expectations. According to Hochschild, 1983, the emotion management by employers creates a situation in which this emotion management can be exchanged in the marketplace. According to Hochschild, 1983, jobs involving emotional labor are defined as those that 1. Require face-to-face -face or voice-to-voice -voice contact with the public. 2. Require the worker to produce an emotional state in another person. Three. Allow the employer, through training and supervision, to exercise a degree of control over the emotional activities of employees. Hochschild, 1983, argues that within this commodification process, service workers are estranged from their own feelings in the workplace.